Alright, kababayan. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening kung saan man kayo nanonood. Again, we have almost two weeks trading left before finally we will turn over itong 2018 and we'll be moving on sa 2019. And uh, I'd like to greet out yung ating mga viewers. No? From last week's video, there's been big, big uh, resurgence fra- coming from uh, South Korea, Taiwan, and Singapore and yung mga ating suki naman uh, hindi naman na, uh, bumibitaw yan weekly nanonood I'd like to greet out also yung uh, Saudi Arabia Qatar, UAE especially the Philippines alright so if ever may na-miss out ako you might want to comment yung uh, saan kayo uh, nagtatrabaho alright so for this week we will be as always uh doing our core watch list and we'll try to uh, dissect what happened sa PSEI uh, last week uh, if you are watching or sinusubaybayan mo it's probably very very bullish early week no? early start of the week and then nitong Thursday Friday parang tumanday right so again uh, bukod doon uh, we will also be discussing yung uh, possible uh, scenario or mga sentiment ng uh, market again this is PSEI and guys uh, if you are not yet uh, yet subscribed I would like you to subscribe because uh, tulad nito it's been a late date update and uh, probably uh, kung hindi kayo subscribe sa ating YouTube eh, baka mamiss out nyo right so again uh, before we start uh, I'd like to have yung ating quick word from the sponsor. Alright, so magpapasko and most of you, if not uh, nandito na sa Pilipinas para to celebrate itong uh, yung Pasko nga. Alright, so I'd like to share this uh, verse uh, which is a very very uh, powerful verse. Alright, this comes from John uh, 14, 6 Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Right, so again, uh, this is very exclusive, right? Yung uh, pagiging uh, daan ni Jesus Christ para tayo masave. Tayong sang katauhan. And if anybody or anyone is telling something very different para ka mapunta sa langit. Uh, that's a big big red flag and guys I want you to always study the word and especially itong word na to uh, maraming na ililigdas to so I want you to always remember and contemplate itong sasalita na to because uh, it took me 32 years para mahanap yung totoo right and probably pare-pares tayo ng background I was Alam ko, alam ko yung mga story survival, alam ko yung mga uh, verses. But uh, I was more on the informational side or should I say intellectual side of things. But uh, when I finally figured out na the Bible is telling the truth, it, yung message ni God is nando doon and I finally started believing and seeing with my own eyes kung ano yung mga sinasabi and yung mga experiences ko bu- sa buhay it took me 32 years guys and wag nyo kung ano, basta paniwalaan uh, kanya-kanya tayo na uh, spiritual journey uh, I want you to read, this, read the word right? read the word by yourself yung bible, nandiyan dyan naman yan and uh, in one way form or another uh, kung hinahanap mo talaga siya uh, I mean in s- some way, shape or form you will find him if you really, really seek him. Alright? So again, uh, Christmas is just around the corner. Maganda sana kung we, we always uh, set our eyes, we set our attention kay Jesus Christ. No? So ngayon kasi very commercialized. Almost uh, iba-iba na yung meaning ng Pasko. Especially sa mga bata. So this will probably serve as a reminder to all of us na to focus to focus on uh, Jesus and to focus on the uh, message of the Bible again 
I want you to hindi ako magsasawa no? to endorse you to read the Bible because uh, took me sabi ko sa inyo 32 years or 3 decades to finally figure it out right so again uh, read the Bible and uh, marami marami kang mahanap na talagang uh, very very uh, refreshing and very uh, I mean meaningful no? sa buhay ng tao Alright, uh, with that, uh, let's now t- try to move on sa ating uh, PSEI. Alright, so, kung ano man yung sasabihin ko beyond this point, uh, this is only just probability. Alright, so, yung Bible is 100% makakaasa ka dyan. At this point in time, you have to stop the video. Masaya na ako, right? But, uh, Again, tuloy na sinabi ko, lahat na nang sasabihin ko is just a probability. This is not 100%, but the Bible, makakaasa ka kung ano man yung sinabi yan, 100% mangyayari. Alright? Again, uh, okay, let's start. Uh, PSEI gained uh, almost 94 points. Right? So, we close at uh, 7,461. Again, tuloy na sinabi ko kanina, it was a pretty much a bullish, bullish week, uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday. I think parang sabi ko nga, this is it siguro. Uh, I think umabot pa tayo ng 7-7, 7-6 if I'm not mistaken. But currently, ayun nga yung nangyari. There was a spillover effect ng ating DAO. DAO is the PSEI equivalent ng ating uh, US stock market. Alright, so ano yung nangyari? Again, uh, if you have not been following the global news, medyo they are on the fear side, medyo... They, they are very, very uh, not optimistic pagdating sa uh, DAO. No? Probably they, they are going to hit already yung pinaka uh, matataas na level and some of them already uh, started taking profit. And isa pa dun, they are very, very much worried sa further escalation ng US-China trade war. And yung isang uh, executive ng, I think, uh, Huawei is... I think arrested in the US and again interpretation ng mga equities or fund managers there is baka no this might trigger etong uh, further escalation ng US China trade war again but uh, overall I think uh, we have passed uh, beyond yung ating uh, danger zone right and uh, it's a good good uh, time at around na para uh, pasukin yung ating PSEI. But then again, looking at the charts, tulad nga nang sinabi ko, at around last week, I was expecting, right, for at least uh, itong PSEI natin to test itong 7,000 or 7,250 level. And right now, it's it's currently doing that, right? And uh, yun nga, pinakamaganda right now is to time yung upside the market and once we see uh, finally yung support dito sa 7.2 and nagre-resist siya pababa, that is the best time no? to to position yourself, lalo na sa ating mga blue chips. Alright, so I do understand that uh, most of you will probably uh, going to start sa mga blue chip companies because uh, nakakatakot no? when you try to play yung mga companies na hindi naman masyadong... Uh, kilala and you don't know the nature of their businesses, medyo nakakatakot. So, I do understand that there are people who are only going to buy yung mga blue chip companies. Alright, so, again, uh, 7-2, once we confirm na yung support ng 7-2, you try to time in yung uh, upside ng market. Doon ka naman maglagay. Alright, so, again, let's try to check and see kung ganyan nga yung mangyayari for this week sa ating PSEI and, uh, if ganun nga yung mangyayari, we have all the game plan. Uh, try to divert all the funds sa mga blue chips muna. Kasi, uh, this could uh, uh, be the rally na hinanap natin to finally conquer yung ating 7-8. Alright? So again, sa mga ating uh, traders or investors which is currently on a break-even, huwag kayong malungkot mas marami yung uh, natalo na way way more beyond that and uh, I think uh, if you are on a break even right now 
or uh, maliit yung talo mo uh, that's a very very good no? at least you have survived itong 2018 which is very very talagang uh, challenging uh, year for most of the traders also uh, let's now try to see itong move of the week this is from AVG we have a 1 day 36% uh, movement so it, this really means something no? itong mga volume na nandi dito and one big volume around here uh, there's something here alright so if you would like to see yung aking much much more detailed explanation dito sa ABG I'd like you guys to check out yung ating uh, chart quick session which is the same video no? na, na, na ina-upload ko every week uh, look at my channel and uh, look for that yung aming chart quick session for December 10 I have already uh, reason out kung ano yung nakikita ko dito with all the disclosures yung price movement dito sa ABG uh, you might want to check out on that alright alright for our December uh, sentiment for the second week we have a rating of 5.5 alright ito ka na sinabi ko di ba ang ating uh, coverage uh, last week is sabi ko I want to see yung FGEN JFC Unfortunately, yung SMC bumaba, alright? So, Mayor, uh, confirming naman yung ating uh, mga nakikita sa Mayor, medyo is currently looking heavy. Right now, itong Meralco, together with another utility, uh, I think it's MWC. And right now, no, nagpaparamdam itong RLC. It's, so, mapapansin mo, yung ating uh, radar is napupuno na ng mga blue chips. And this is a good indication na we are, we are probably at the beginning of a recovery ng ating PSEI and uh, again at this around our point in time many many or, or or if not yung ating mga funds is they are already calibrating yung kanilang mga position right now so they have year end reports to make and year end targets to hit alright so mapapansin mo there yung mga ating second tier or third tier stock na parang mahirap umusod is because they are probably already been told to liquidate their position again kahit na maganda yung stock but once yung mga reports or mga year end reports na ganyan they, they are required alright uh, porsado sila na liquidate yung position so again guys if you are learning something or may napupulot kayo insight dito or you just want to uh, another set of eyes to check yung ating stock market especially I do understand that there are a lot of people that they don't have the capacity or the luxury of time na manood ng market from 9.30 to 3.30 right? again guys this is your channel you might want to uh, hit the subscribe button or even better yung notification at least uh, uh, reminded kayo kung uh, meron tayong mga updates alright so again usually I do upload uh, Friday or Ngayon is parang nagiging Sunday na upload ko sa dami na aking mga personal commitment as well. Alright, so again, uh, if not for the spillover of the Dow Jones and especially yung mga uh, global, global uh, news na naka sa market natin, we should probably already hit yung 7-8 sana. Right, so hindi ganun yung nangyari. But then again, we're still optimistic. And yun nga, nasabay yan pa ng ating uh, again if you are not yet in tune sa news mukhang itutuloy ng ating government yung increase ng oil prices or I think yung tax ng oil prices for 2019 which maaring naka-apekto rin sa ating PSEI so again that is our sentiment for the market and right now we are going to look yung ating mga core watch list and sa ating core watch list it hasn't changed that much and uh, yun na yung parin din naman yung ating mga tinitignan alright so again Wilcon sinasabi ko nga I think for the last two weeks uh, this is more like of a positional trading or yung tinatawag natin na uh, uh, I think yung 12 no alright so yung 12 yung ating tinitignan dito Right, so as long as it, it is maintaining above 12, we are more than uh, optimistic na itong uh, Wilcon 
is already already consolidating and will probably uh, move another leg or two sa ating uh, prices right so mapapansin mo naman sa uh, one of the most solid charts pagdating sa ating market the trend is very intact all right so that is a clear uptrend but during this uh, area no medyo magulo but is now currently stabilizing itong ating uh, price and if you're noticing Again, this is uh, double doji itong Friday and Thursday uh, closing natin and that is a good good sign. No? So, another set ng ganitong closing and we will try to check and see if mabibigyan tayo ng magandang movement itong Nilcon. Again, it's a very very good company considering na ang ating uh, score business is uh, sa mga needs sa mga bahay or uh, tinatawag natin na uh, hardware alright so again if you are a positional trader you might want to uh, check and arali mo yung entries mo rito pagdating sa Wilcon again as long as 12 is uh, holding and it's, it's it's consolidating at the top right so lagi nyo tatandaan mas malakas yung consolidating at the top kesa yung fullback na pababa alright so that is basic basic of price action consolidation at the top is much much more better kesa yung pumupullback right so I want you to take note on that and uh, also uh, memorize yung mga ganong uh, chart no mabilis na pagbasa ng chart so again we will now move on sa ating uh, next sa ating watch this let's try to move on Again, finally, right, uh, finally, itong JFC which has been on our ating um, summary, tulad gano'n sinasabi ko, this would lead uh, itong uh, recovery ng ating market and it's finally did confirm after a good consolidation at around 280 area. So right now, it's currently uh, Right now, huwag muna kayong pumasok and I want you, if you are going to enter itong uh, GFC, at least consider itong fullback sa 290. Right? So, meron tayo naman support doon. And again, tulad na sinasabi ko itong GFC, uh, matagal na natin itong identify na would lead the market. No? Yung recovery. And maganda, maganda. Uh, yung uh, business story ng GFC is currently expanding sa labas na, sa ibang bansa na and hindi na rito sa Pilipinas which is a uh, very very saturated na rin sila dito sa Pilipinas uh, there's so much uh, they can only expand so much dito sa ating uh, local market and uh, mukhang uh, finally they, ha they have decided to go abroad and maganda maganda naman tong GFC for the long term and guys uh, again 300 is the price to watch And this is a psychological resistance. And once uh, mahit nito yung 300, I would not be surprised if this would uh, automatically, alright? So, magkukrus um, to 320 or 330. So, ganun. So, once we hit yung isang uh, psychological resistance or round number, especially 300, uh, pwedeng mag-slide around 320, 330. So, ganun. So, mas maganda sana we have small pullback at around 290 at least makasakay ka ron uh, bago ka uh, mag 320 or 330. Again, uh, yun nga. Uh, unless yung 300 ma-take out uh, to play it safe dito sa Jollibee. Alright? But, uh, once we hit naman yung uh, PSEI around this week, kung ma-hit natin tong PSEI uh, tong 7778 uh, don't hesitate to add to add to your watch this etong JFC because uh, finally it did confirm yung ating mga naisip and ideas about JFC and maganda maganda rin naman yung pinapakita nitong JFC then let's now move on sa ating uh, sa ating pang mga watch this right finally aba we are so uh, we are finally seeing yung hesitation 
if you are going to see yung the last two candles we have an uptick no so ibig sabihin yan it is finally uh, losing momentum and we want to make or see yung consolidation right so para sa ating aba clearly clearly if you can still buy at 0.5758 no para sana bago po bumaba do ka makasakay on right buying on the full back but uh aba maganda rin naman yung pinapakita nito because this is the stock na naglipatan sila once na yung ISM CLC uh nabuwag or yung momentum ng ISM CLC dito halos lahat napuntahan sa aba right but right now We're seeing hesitation, we're seeing uh, weakness sa uh, kanyang mga candle formation. But uh, on a bigger uh, trend or a bigger picture, okay pa rin siya. Right? Uh, yun nga lang sa currently sa nakikita natin, it might be uh, wise or it might be good to abangan itong 57 or 58 area. So Abacor, tulad nga nasabi ko, we identify this as the alpha or the leader matapos yung ISM CLC momentum breakdown right so again you might want to push sa inyong watch list itong ABA and consider it no so timing na niyo lang yung inyong entry sa ABA and tuloy na sinasabi ko uh, maganda maganda rin yung pasukan to to buy on full back itong ABA core so right so again that is our take sa ating ABA core let's now try to move on sa isa pa, isa pa sa mga leaders na matagal na nating inaabangan na mag back right now, big 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 hesitation move and finally bumigay na nga so this is the uh, timing na hinahanap natin and from the look of it uh, wag ka munang maglalagay ng iyong uh, trade or ng iyong buying order, you might want to check and see if bibistahin nyo pa ba itong gap na ito right so might happen na bisitahin niya to finally close itong gap na to yun nga lang once it revisit naman yung itong uh, gap na to uh, might be too steep no? para makabalik din naman sa upside but then again what to play it safe We just want to observe itong FDC currently bago ka bumili. No? So, if yung price and candle is uh, decelerating and yung candles lumilit na lumilit at around this 9.1 uh, area, itong gap, maganda ang naging pasukan itong ABA. No? So, bago siya, uh, kasi ano dito, hindi siya nagpasakay talaga, eh, dire-direcho and there are a lot of players na talagang bumibili doon sa fullback this is probably uh, first major fullback before the run so matagal-tagal din yung tinakbo niya almost 2 to 3 weeks din yan na talagang dire-direcho unstoppable again uh, maganda yung mga net incomes nito tulad nga ng na-research natin uh, it is uh, growing itong FDC and for the second week second time in a row inaabangan natin yung kanyang uh, pullback right so para makasakay naman tayo right so again uh, i do not think natapos na yung kanyang run uh, maaari nag-iipon lang siya ng lakas before it uh, finally push maganda rin sana no kasi kung sakali uh, maganda yung timing niya kasabay ng PSEI baka masama madamay din to no once also we hit yung Uh, 7.5 or 7.7 this week baka madamay siya sa PSE by EI natin even though hindi naman siya index na hindi so again that's our take for FDC let's try to uh, move on sa ating matagal matagal nang sinasabi na inyong uh, ilagay sa inyong watchlist I think since this is 3 uh, weeks ago pa or 2 weeks ago pa natin nakita to and finally binigyan tayo ng magandang buy signal last week at around this area And kung napabili ka or talagang nahuli mo to, I think uh, 7 to 8% ka na currently. 
But right now, uh, we're seeing hesitation sa kanyang prices and again, uh, tulad din ng FDC, uh, antayin yung fallback, right? So, the volume is diminishing, right? So, this is a sign na maaaring yung the one who is accumulated to FGEN do not want to buy yung uh, pressure niya ngayon. No? So, pinapababa niya pa bago siya bumili ng another set. Right? Again, ang FGEN is a PSCI. So, again, if we hit yung 7778 at this point in time sa ating PSCI, uh, wala na pong iba na maglilid ng market, especially sa index name or blue chips. Kung hindi, it's either FGEN or SMC. And yung maganda nga sana natin makita, mag-profit taking na rin sa mga utilities. That means na mapupunta rito sa FGEN. No? So, again, that is our core watch list. Itong FGEN finally did break out as a... You might want to check nung last week natin na sinasabi rito sa FGEN. Finally, finally, uh, nag-strike na nga siya itong FGEN. Alright, so bukod dyan sa ating mga nabanggit, FGEN, JFC, ABA, Wilcon, and yung isa pa. Uh, I like to want you to also check yung green. It's currently forming a flag pattern. Hindi ko lang naisama rito. That's a good, good stock to buy. And also yung Costco, uh, timingan nyo lang. And buy on the support, uh, maganda rin yung pinapakita ng Costco price action wise. So again, uh, I'm more than inclined to tell you na we're, out, we're already out of the danger zone. So yung 6.9, I do not think we will have to revisit that. And uh, once we hit yung 7.2 and finally did confirm the support, dun sana yung pinakamaganda na bumili ng mga index names right so again if you're learning something please hit that like button if you see yung value nitong uh, video na to or you just want to check another set of eyes you, know, you might want to bounce ideas at yung channel mo no? so again this is a weekly thing and I try to update as much as possible Para din naman uh, consistent tayo. Right? So, again, if you have not yet been subscribing, uh, please do subscribe. Alright? So, I am contemplating, alright, to finally uh, cut out yung mga subscribers kasi baka pinapanood din naman tayo ng iba or yung mga big, big fans and baka mamanipulate naman nila tayo. Right? So, again, uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And this is PSEI Recap. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa pananood.